In this in this video, I am going to discuss about Cassandra collection data types like list, set, and map. So about at your set connection, so it stores group of element that return sorted element when query. So let's understand by example. So first, I am going to create the tables. So at here by using Cassandra minus F. So by using this command, we can start the Cassandra. And if you write at here secure lsh, now commands comes to secure lsh under. Now if I uh, paste and if I press enter, so here uh, there is a one table created with the name emp. So s point is the at here s point. So it's a key space. Now here after I'm going to check the record inside. EMP font table. Select and start from get the uh, key space name S point. Now here after EMP one. Now there is a, no any record inside EMP one. Now here after I am going to insert some record. So let's copy that one. Now here after paste and press enter. So here you can see one record, enter, the id 114 and your email and the name. Now here after I am going to insert add here. So this time add here I am providing three emails. Now here in record inserted. Now here you can see add here. So id here this is the email and the name Jordan. So at here by using our state command, it stores group of element that return sorted element when carry. So at here it return group of elements. So at here we can insert group of element. So one time we can insert multiple email by using at him state correction. And here it return sorted elements. So when I insert this value, so this is uh, on order. So after applying at here state at here uh, state on email so here you can see state and your text tab so this uh, at here is now in sorted format so here you can see c j and z so this this is why we can use at here now here after insert into s point and your emp1 id name email and your values so this value is going to enter and here the first letter is s and here so after inserting at here the first time n will come here after s. Now here after let's press enter. So here after let's check, check the record inside there. So select and start from here. You can see n is now first time here. N last is now add here s. N last now it's come first and here s first it's now come last. So that's why we are using add here state operator. So first add here this return add here. Or sorted element and we can insert multiple values here now here after like this id name 114 nissan and here this value so if i enter duplicate values so let's see what happened so right here name at the rate gmail.com so it's two times and here it's a duplicate now press enter and here check the record so here you can see it accept only one name so I inserted two times, but it has set only one tab. So that's why at here it, it stored that means it is stored unique values. Now here auto let's see about the list connection example. So at here values sorted in the list don't need to be unique and can be duplicate. So when I enter at here, when I make the column or set, we cannot insert duplicate. But by using at here list connection we can insert at here duplicate values so at here you can see i applied list on branch now here after first i'm going to create the table now here after press enter so there is a one table it's created with the name emp2 so at here let's find create table Now here after let's give emp2 so no any close. Now here after 
let's insert some values now here press enter so value inserted now here you can see so and here 118 and here you can see this is an unsorted format but when i enter at here on set so it uh, store the value on sorted format so for first at here there's a difference between list and our set so at here list unsorted set sorted now here after we can insert this value here let's check that now press enter so value inserted now here after select here you can see so one to first time that i inserted 118 1 now here you can see there's two parameter and your s size so add here it now add here sees so uh, uh, um first it's come first sees the or when you count add here abc c come first s last but to add here by using uh, list we can or uh, whatever we insert so same value that or set so this is the things now here after let's do one thing so right here going to insert some duplicate values so now let's see what happened now here after let's so see right here so it uh, it's a display cs cs press times so that means right here it is store duplicate values list or uh, that is store duplicate value so this is the things here between list and set, set or set only unique and list or set duplicate. Now here after we can use this also by using list and your state. So now here after let's uh, create the table. The table name mp3 and your table created. Now here after let's check the record inside emp3 no any rows inserted now here after so add here also here so when i enter add here or set we can give add here 30 braces add here this is rectangular kind of bracket we are using now here after let's insert the record no any errors here you can see cs it's now rectangle kind of bracket and here is the curly braces now here after there is the duplicate on add here or branch this is a list tab and here this is set set also has duplicate values now if i try to enter our duplicate value now here after press enter and here you can see so add here by using list it accept duplicate value but add here by using set it accept unique value now here after the next part is add here map so it is used to store key value pair it maps one thing to another so add here let's understand by example creating table emp4 now here after let's press enter and here after select a start from and here keep the table name emp4 no any rows two columns now here after insert into so add here insert into s point key space emp4 table name add in column so add is the 001 and here so so add here we can in insert add here so here after column one time three values now here after let's give add here so values inserted now here you can see one id and here this values so so this is the benefit and here it is used to store key value pin multiple value we can enter and here it maps one to another now here after let's copy this one now here after press enter and here emp4 so this time database my square it's inserted now here after let's insert CHE class stamps and here let's give id value 3 copy that and paste here value inserted select a star so add here oh, 
it's assigned. So if I enter right here, CC trash time, so it's so assigned twice. That means it's assigned duplicate twice. So this is three important things connection, set, list, and map. So right here about the map, it is used to store key value. So right here, one time key, and here you can enter multiple. Math, physics, chemistry, English, biology, whatever you want, here you can insert. Database, MySQL, Oracle, Cassandra, PHP, everything you can insert. And here after, here you can see, you can give out here big data after that you can insert. Hi, Turby, Cassandra, you can insert multiple values. Key pair of values. Key value pairs. Now press enter. Invalid request, invalid query message, undivided call. Right here, insert into a spent mp3. Okay, we need to give mp4. That's why it's the returning add here. Now let's insert once again. Right here, mp3 already there. Now if I insert this one, so when you insert add your duplicate values next time so it eliminate now here you can see three big data and turkey and here it's a display now at your first time that i entered at your sub math so let's see at your three sub math pages now here the id it's not changed okay first time at your here you can see three so math chemistry that I enter now add value okay. so this is the best thing about add here Cassandra so this is all about add here collection in Cassandra so by using map collection it is stored key value pair and here by using add here list collection we can insert duplicate values and here about to set it accept add here unique value and sorted format so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.